So I'm going to be totally real with you. I don't really play consoles as much anymore, especially my Nintendo Switch. Just because there isn't that many games that I can, like, just mindlessly play. Just games that I don't really have to spend that much time focusing on. Because a lot of the games that I spend time really delving into are on my PC. Not to be a PC Master Race or whatever you want to say. But every once in a while, I do go on the Nintendo Switch eShop and look for games that I can get at a reasonable price that I can just mindlessly play. And to be honest, before I found this one game that I'm going to be telling you about today, I never thought that I would really play my Switch as much as I do now. I should probably put this at the beginning of the video though. This isn't sponsored by the creator of this game who I'm going to get into. This is just a small indie game that I've been playing for years on my PC and I finally was able to get it on my Switch for a very good price. And I'm just saying because of how useful Nintendo Gold Points are when you buy a game, I think this is a great game considering how cheap it is for like one or two bucks to spend your money on. Plus if you're a YouTuber it makes for great background footage so that's a good selling point. So this is called Refunct, and Refunct is a very interesting type of game. It's not about killing things and like, you know, doing drugs or whatever the hell games are about today. It's a very calm and peaceful and short first person game about restoring, as the description says, a vibrant world. So right now, if you look at the background footage, this is Refunct. It may not look that interesting, but trust me when I say this is a very pleasant game to play. Now, the version I'm recording is the Steam version, however, even on the Switch, visuals of this game look very good. Just with the way the sun rays off of every individual pillar, it looks very stellar, and it's definitely something that you can't get bored of. Something that works really well with the gameplay and the visuals too is the really good soundtrack. I cannot, like... I cannot emphasize how great this calm and emotional kinda experience Refunct is with the visuals combined with the soundtrack. It's really good. The way it all just blends together in like a perfect harmony. It's hard to describe but it's very fun and I feel like that's why it's so addictive is that it's so relaxing and peaceful to play and it's just so chill but at the same time it's... It, it makes you feel a lot of emotions, like a lot of very, like, happy and relaxed and calm and, like, sometimes even sad emotions when it's, o when it's over, to be honest. I almost voice cracked so hard, that would have been so bad. Now, obviously, this game isn't for everyone. If you're into, like, boots on ground, rifles in hand, shooting people in, like, Battlefield, if you still play Battlefield for some reason, or, like, Call of Duty or something like that, Obviously, I don't know if this game would be really for you, but if you're into just relaxing and just platform games, then I feel like you will like Refunct, especially considering that if you have a Nintendo Switch and you have spare gold points, you can easily get this game for like one or two hundred. Now, you do have to keep in mind, though, is that it is very short. Like, to 100% Refunct, it'll probably take you, if you're doing it for the first time, like 30 minutes. It's not that long. And especially because I'm recommending the Switch version the most because of the gold points, there is no achievements. Because this game is also on Steam, which you are seeing the footage for, Xbox One, and PS4, all in all that, you can get technically more hours and more content on that because of the achievements. However, I just still feel like it's still worth it on the Nintendo Switch. So all in all, Refunct is a extremely good indie game. I think that considering that the reviews are overwhelmingly positive on Steam, I would highly recommend it to anyone. And now that it's on the Nintendo Switch and you can buy it like I did with gold points for basically nothing. In fact, if you've ever bought, an, like I said, a $60 Nintendo Switch cartridge, then you can buy Refunct for free. So... I just feel like for a lot of people, because it's very hard to spend your gold points wisely, I would just recommend getting indie games like this. And if the creator, Dominic Griechefer, Dominic Griechefer, I probably said that way wrong, but if he puts his other game that recently came out, Swarm Lake, on the Nintendo Switch, that's a sort of like an arcade game that you can get way more hours out of compared to Refunct. 
So you may even see another video like this one recommending that one too. So all in all, not sponsored or anything, should you buy Refunct? Well, if you don't have gold points on the Nintendo Switch and you just have spare money, then it can be a good idea. But like I said, gold points is really the way to go. If you have a PC or a PS4 or you have an Xbox One, then you can probably pick this game up for like 3 or $4. And it even like for Xbox players, technically you can get some good gamer score for this. So if you want to, you know, get a higher profile, it's an easy game to get gamer score on. So, you know, you can become the ultimate flexer, so you can flex on all your friends for having the most gamer score. And, you know, thank me for getting you there, if you want. And like I said, not everyone is going to enjoy Refunct. It's definitely not for everyone, but I feel like a lot of people will enjoy the calmness and just how peaceful the game is. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. If you actually did buy Refunct, let me know also. As always,